Hi guys, it's Joseph here at Edge Dynamics making a show video today again uh, and I wasn't going to make a video today it's got a bit of a spot boil thing going on there um, but I've got a razor that I've uh, restored and honed it but I've got to take it apart so I've got to kill the edge so I've got to use it so I might as well record it it's um here here we go. If you wanna have a butchers at that. Uh, the scales are beautiful uh, according to me. I made these uh water buffalo horn and from North India the stuff and they're rounded and they've fashioned off the original scales which were bone. So they're the same shape, but obviously the bone was really thin, uh, thin and straight, and uh, these are rounded. If you take a look at the wedge, it's a uh, brass lined, and inside there, can I get a picture of it? Um, the wedge is a piece of stabilised burr. Burl wood, and that's the problem. The wedges, the the linings come apart. It's my fault, um, <clears throat> but I'm going to fix that today. Also, the blade itself, uh, it's got some light markings on it because all I did was I polished it. Um, and I should have took a little bit of metal off, just the lightest bit, instead of such a light polish. Also, <clears throat> on one of the heels, it goes up on the heel a little bit, on this heel. Good thing I was to zoom in, yeah. So I'm gonna fix that, <clears throat> just make it pucker. If you look at the, uh, see the maker, it's R. Schofield, Liverpool, and I've done my re as much research as I can. The only Schofields I could find in Liverpool are the drinks company, and I'm assuming this R. Schofield, R. Schofield was one of the Schofield brothers, but I can't actually find that information. But it's a lovely wedge, and um, I honed it on the Nakayama with a full Nagora progression. I changed my Nagora stones again mixed in some softer ones and I used a new Tomo Nagora that I haven't used before with the, uh, the Nakayama and it seems really good it seems like that kind of special steel so like when I was doing the the uh, bevel set checking if it pops arm hairs it's really smooth it wasn't catching the skin just really smooth on the arm so I think this is uh, some of that special stuff right brush, just take it out of the water again, it's cold water, is the plisson, just shake that out, we all know and love this one, I've had a few, few people asking me about this brush, has it got any backbone, does it lack backbone, and <clears throat> what I'll say is when I first bought this brush, it was a bit floppy, but since it's broken in and it's, um, it's kind of bloomed, and the knots become a lot more full and it's got plenty of backbone so honestly you can't go wrong with these they're really expensive though that's the problem the cream shaving cream I've been testing a lot, quite a few creams throughout the week <coughs> soaps and <coughs> I've got this stuff I found this to be one of the best ones I don't know what's wrong with my camera today it's a uh, NV London shaving cream and it says for the gentleman who prefers the luxury of a traditional razor shave. This one I got from a barber's in uh, Covent Garden and 
I can read you a few of the ingredients if you're interested. Uh, there's water, stearic acid, myristic acid, myristic acid, potassium, hydroxide, coconut acid, glycerin, trithenolamine, I think that says, parfum, sodium hydroxide, some really, lo that's the longest word in the English dictionary, that must be, I can't say that, and another one. So it seems to be a lot of acid in there, but whatever's in here, it's really good. So I just wet my face. <coughs> Let that water get hot. <coughs> also, while I've got you, I've uh, started a Facebook group. Um, it's called uh, Straight Razor Elysium. So if any of you guys use Facebook, have a look. Uh, join in if you like. And, uh, hopefully it's interesting. Hopefully it'll grow. I've got about 50 members at the moment but hopefully one day there'll be thousands I was on I'll tell you this I was on the SRP I'm still on the SRP community on Facebook I was on SRP their main page and I put some pictures up showing some work I'd done and uh, obviously those razors were for sale on my site so whoever on SRP banned me so I should have read the rules but they didn't warn me or tell me why just banned so got my own group now and uh, take a look right that's it and this stuff it doesn't smell very good yeah it's kind of a uh, I'll just See, it comes like that. It's, I mean, it's not the best packaging in the world, or a, bit, a little bit homemade sort of thing about it, but. And I'll just take some off the lid. But, um. The guy in the shop was trying to tell me it's a soap, and I was said, no, that's cream. And he's like, no, that's actually a soap, but. It's a cream, right. <clears throat> and you just need a little bit. Yeah, it smells pretty bad. Just smells of sort of chemicals, not of any. It's got no fragrance. But um, I don't think that matters really, because it makes a really nice sheeny lava. So I've been testing, basically I've been testing the soaps that don't, haven't been working for me. And what I've been doing is blooming them. But I mean, a couple are so bad, I blew them over, overnight. I left them in water overnight. And yeah, they, they do work. They're not amazing, but they do work that way. But I'll get back to those when I use them. I've got so many soaps to use and stones and razors and, and I'm only shaving once a week. But this stuff's really good. I checked out this the website for these people and uh, it seemed to be down. It's up but you can't get to the products page. But I always drive past it, I always look in, they've got like fake straight razors in the window, loads of brushes. I finally went in there. I'm glad I did. The guy who served me was at, he was cutting someone's hair. And he just left the guy sitting there, and uh, I said, "Look, I'm sorry to take you away from that guy." And he said, "No, don't worry about that." The guy just sat there on his mobile phone. Forget about his haircut. Right. Look at that lather. It's great. It's really thick as well. I've probably had some water. In. See what happens. And I only used a little bit. What did I do? That's good enough. I've got no backup razor. And normally when I haven't got a backup, that's when the razor doesn't work too well. So let's hope that's not the case here. <clears throat> 
finally. It's been a long, long time in the making, this razor. Just want to get it perfect before I put it on the site. Yeah, that's perfection. That's really good. That's what you want from a wedge. So although it says Liverpool, it's got to be a Sheffield wedge, hasn't it? Touch the mirror, it's shaking. Let's get that still. Get these sideys down. My patented sidey method. Feel free to use it. Yeah, it's smooth. And it's soft and it's sharp. If I had the time, I'd do two shaves a week, two videos. <clears throat> but I work full time, so I've got time for nothing. So fairer than that. And believe it or not, this razor was in like the junk pile. This was not one of my special ones. It had some stuff along the bevel. It should look like rust, it was orange. And if you looked at it, you'd say that could never shave. And it wasn't, it was just some kind of weird gunk just came off. Right, let's go second pass. Ease of use, this cream gets 10 out of 10. Got some others that I can't wait to try. That's a good sound effect, isn't it? I'll stop mucking about. I think that'll do. Let's add a bit of water. Just watched the UFC, I think it was 247. Disappointing, very disappointing. Seems corrupt to me, but just my opinion. Judging is a bit dodgy, I think. Plus, I really wanted to see John Jones lose. Because I think now he's not on steroids, he's not the same fighter. But what do we really know? We only know what they tell us.
Weepers, weepers. That's not good. That's not good. Go for a touch up. Yeah, maybe it's a could be a little bit too sharp. I shouldn't have those weepers on the chin. But it's definitely smooth and it's definitely sharp. Could be a couple of microchips or either way it's getting killed getting worked on. And that'll do. Don't really have to worry about drying this <clears throat> too much. Just rinse my face. Damn, I left my Aqua de Palma. I was gonna use the Aqua de Palma. I still will use it. Let me go grab it. Come back. Uh, got my Aqua. Yep. That's good. Okay, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you next time. Hopefully, I'll have something a bit more interesting. Uh, another 12 inch up, uh, Arkansas. Uh, I'm going to do some races on that. Makes for a good uh, photo. Thanks. See you next time.